Namaste. Thank you for joining me to our regular yoga session. Uh, today's practice, today's session, today's sequence is uh, freeing the body, uh, freeing the energy uh, from the body and synchronizing with the, with the universal energy. So all these movements are, are designed to free the body, so free the energy and blockages from the body. Um, uh, you also feel more supple, more flexible. Um, you can say these exercises are, are warming up exercises or uh, a moving um, dynamic stretch, active stretch. Okay, so uh, we're starting standing up. Good. Now, let's just um, coming on to a sama sthiti. Sama sthiti means a neutral standing position. Now, let's just feet hip width apart to see where you feel comfortable. Um, uh, so sort of feel like your heels are staying under your hips. Um, people with the wider hips, you can go a bit wider. With the narrow hip, you can bring your feet slightly closer. But for me, um, our feet should be um, a fist width apart. Okay, so where you, wherever you feel comfortable, confident. Now, let's just spread your toes. Bring arm onto your side. Gently pulling the shoulder and a stretching fingertips straight down towards your floor. Beautiful. Now, let's just start extending the legs from the knees, but not hyper extending, so not locking back. We feel it's extending, but just slight bend there. Now, start tucking the towel and start pulling your tummy in. Beautiful. Like you're bracing the spine. And I start lifting the base lock up. Good, I'm um, staying strong, straight. Good, lifting our chest up, our sternum up, pulling the head back. So just really upright standing position and feel you are in a, in a center of the world. So just feeling weightless, you're feeling very light. Good, like you, you floating. Good. Just stand straight and strong. Now pull the tummy, good. All right, so let's just breathe in this time, rock forward. You can keep your eyes open first. So rocking towards the ball of the feet, towards the toes, keeping heel down. And as you exhale, come back to the middle. Good, legs are staying straight, strong. And I feel we are shifting weight evenly on both legs, both feet, both hips. Okay, rocking back and Exhale, come back to the center. So just nice smile, face are relaxed, just very, very light. Yeah, very soft. Now let's just close your eyes. For the next two times we're doing with the eyes closed. So just rocking forward slowly. And let's just exhale, coming back. So your toes are not crunching or trying to grab the mat. Let's just go back slowly, inhale. And exhale back to the center. Okay, so once again, inhale, going forward. So keep those toes open wide. Yeah, not being fearful with the balance, losing the balance. Okay, so exhale, coming back. Uh, inhale, back to the heels. And exhale, back to the center. So just hold it here and find the center. Good. Center of gravity. Good. Feel you very aligned, very focused, very center. So shoulders slightly turn back, pulling the head, lift the chest, pull the tummy and engage the base lock. Beautiful. So stay with me. Now just inhale, rock to the right. Just keep the eyes closed this time. Keep the left foot on the floor. Good. And exhale back to the center, to the middle. So this time we're rocking to the left, so laterally to the side. Okay. Let's just exhale, come back. Good. Finding a full corner, breathing into the right. And breathe up, pull the tummy, come back to the center. Last one. It's just the connecting first with the breath, with the body. Exhale and back. Okay, so just do once again to the right. Inhale. It's connecting with your body, with your mind, with your practice. And connecting with me. Inhale to the left. And exhale back slowly. Okay, so let's just slowly open your eyes like just very fresh very aware but very aligned good still feeling our cores are working still feeling our tummies pulling squeezing the buttocks and we're standing very tall 
um, and in the center of the universe, in the center, good, head aligned. Now just breathe in, reach your arms up, moving, Tada Asana, exhale down. So just simply arms up and arms down, inhale, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Do it slowly and free, free your body, so just stretching all the way up and breathe out, arms down. And inhale, arms up, and exhale, arms down. And let's do four more, breathe in, lengthen those arms and fill the lungs completely. And as you breathe out, empty those lungs completely. Beautiful, three more, breathe and reach. And breathe out, arms down. Breathe and reach. And breathe out, arms down. So we're keeping arms slightly behind the ears, just keeping it aligned. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down completely. Good. Okay, so I want you to stretch your legs shoulder width apart. And feet are slightly turning out. Good. Knees are slightly turning out. Standing again um, in a samasthiti, sort of feel like we're in a center here. So tucking, squeezing the buttocks, pulling the tummy, shoulders are back. Inhale, lifting both arms up. Now hold here. And let's just drop your left arm down. Pull the tummy and a stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, arms coming back here. And exhale. Breathe in, arms up. And as breathe out, go. Pull the tummy and stretch the side. Breathe in. And breathe out. So keep the tummy in and try to keep your hips stable as we're stretching the spine laterally. Pull the tummy, hips are staying stable. And stretch deep. Breathe in. And breathe out. So turning hand, arm behind your ear and a stretch deep, inhale. So hips are not swinging side to side, try to keep your buttocks tight and keep the weight balanced on both feet. Exhale. Good, using, working on a, working on an obliques, exhale. Breathe in back and breathe out. Okay, so let's just do four more. And then start going a little deep, so just opening up the body. Breathe in. So we call it Triyak Tadasana. Triyak, sort of moving, yeah, or a stretching the side. Exhale. Yeah. Okay, so last two. Beautiful. Stay strong, feel your hips are stable and back good okay so arms are down legs are staying same good so this time it's a twisting let's just go lift both arms up kati chakra asana so we do it differently so just breathing out turning to the right so left hand on two left hand onto your right waist right hand onto the hip and then just turning looking back keeping all right now breathe and lift both arms up and breathe out, turn to the left, inhale arms up and exhale turn, inhale arms up and exhale and turn. So this one, if people normally do keeping one hand on, placing one hand on a shoulder, one and one on a hip and just turning back, inhale and exhale you can you can sort of wrap that arm around like this too and turning twisting inhale arms up and exhale turn so twisting rotation of the spine breathe in and breathe out so freeing the spine and freeing the hips the buttocks and keep your core engaged so let's just do another four you can use the hands on a waist 
or you can keep that right hand onto your shoulder up whichever will work for you whatever you feel it's right as I first started I started doing on the waist without reading any book sort of like I had these exercises in my memory from my childhood or maybe from the past lives up last one okay arms up and arms are down beautiful okay so legs a bit wider then our shoulder now feet are still slightly turning out knees out okay so inhale lifting both arms up now let's just drop your left arm down and exhale we're coming down so just all the way down and are going turning all the way and then bring both arms up all right let's just do the left side it's exhale pull the tummy so don't rush coming forward inhale lift both arms up you're just going to move side to side exhale so first go on the side and then you turn up you see i'm not going down deep so it's all about stretching the side we'll do the forward bending later okay up i love this moving asanas or moving poses you go yeah yes yoga have everything in it moving or doing sort of a aerobic go again you can say tai chi keep going or you can say active stretching okay let's do four more we're doing a little bit extra it's my favorite up so for a favorite we're doing a little extra last two so not rushing coming forward too quick go to the side and flex these muscles use those abs excellent arms up stretch up long prepare again flex those right oblique muscles <sighs> beautiful all thumbs up okay so lock your fingers lift both arms up good now keep the butt squeeze up pull the tummy exhale to the left good and down good lift up beautiful freeing the spine as i said we freeing the energy exhale inhale lift go again yep feel like you you're really enjoying the free lean hat keep going not going too far forward just feel coming reaching towards me so not going too far down but reaching towards me good one go again Okay, four more. And then modify. If you're finding this is hard, so just try to modify. Exhale. Don't give up, but just do smaller movement. Like as I'm doing it. I'm just trying to show you the smaller. Last one now. Inhale up. And exhale, arms down. legs are close shoulder width apart good all right let just um freeing uh, our shoulders okay so hands up here good even if you can't touch you can just keep your hands here you can keep your hands here or you can just do the arm circle all right so we're just going to start this one inhale lift up elbows are forward touching and we'll do 10 
lift up her. Deep breathing. Active breathing. That's good. Okay, let's just go backwards. back the last one and rest good okay shake your arms shake your legs your mind your legs are feeling um, a little bit tired it's just standing on one place you can do a little jog just to relax just to free yourself good and just a little more good you keep going let me set my mat good just a little more job. Okay, good one. Okay, so legs are shoulder width or sort of wider than a shoulder. Good. Now chest and back opener, opening exercise. So now feel we we're making a fist just really really like making a really strong fist using the fingers, using the digit. Curl, inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So legs are bending, we're curling. Exhale, legs are always staying slightly bent now. Exhale, open your chest, bring your arms back further and fold your chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, 10 more. Feel good energy. Feel you freeing your body. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. Four. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, let's rest. Shake your arms, shake your legs. Good. Okay, so let's let's turn the left foot out. Legs are slightly wider than the shoulder now. See like this, and I turn the right foot in. Good. So it's just sort of standing um, like we're preparing for a triangle, but we're not doing triangle. Good. We're going to do an arch, archer. Good. So let's just bring your left arm up on a like this go to straight straight strong arm and think you're holding a you're holding a um, bow good now this hand your right hand holding a string or an arrow okay so i'm here and let's just pull your arm back breathe in and breathe out inhale exhale so focus on your thumb. That was my bike there, uh, push back, standing, fell. Good, okay, let's just inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in deep. And breathe out. 10. Exhale. So chest opening, stretch deep. Exhale, and you focus onto your thumb, or tip of your thumb. Eight more. Five more. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Okay, so arms here. Arms are down first. Okay, so turn the foot now. Good. And turn the left foot slightly in. Pull the tummy. Right arm here. Good. Now make a fist strongly and your thumb. So that's your focus, your concentration. Left arm here. 
Okay, so let's just pull the air up. Exhale. Again. Try to fill the lungs completely. Stretch the chest. Strong. Ten. Keep going. Lungs need to be strong, body need to be strong. Okay, so just feel that really, really pulling with the strength, with the strong arm. Hold that right arm strongly, concentrate on the tip of your thumb. Three, two more. And rest, arms up and arms down. Okay, shake your arms, shake your legs. Um, don't be too um, uh, psycho about counting. <laughs> uh, yes, I sort of mess up with the counting with the right and left and doesn't really matter, okay? So we just sort of need a, um, um, need a sort of almost a, a even number, okay? Um, all right, now, um, feet to hip width apart, align your feet, good. So we, so simply it's a, a chair pose, but we're doing moving chair pose squat. Good, hands in front of the chest. Good. Now, let's just inhale, lift the both arms up. Arms the shoulder width apart. Pull the tummy and exhale and go in a squat position. Good, keeping a back neutral. Sit back onto, like making a body like a chair. Inhale up. Exhale down. Breathe in up. Arms are straight. Pull the tummy and sit all the way back like you're going to feel you're going to fall back. Good. Keep the tummy in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Nice, good smile on your face. Six more. Inhale up. And exhale all the way back. Feel like you're going to fall back. Feel right and left legs both working evenly. Good. <laughs> See? That's just, I was not just showing off, just trying to tell. We're sitting all the way back. Exhale down. Go inhale, arms up. Eyes in front and arms are behind and sit all the way back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Four more. Pull the tummy, engage your core. Sit back onto your heels. Push onto your heels, squeeze your buttocks. Arms are down. Good. Eyes are forward, head staying, pulling back, arms are behind. Pull the tummy, neutral spine. Chair position. Chair pose. That's the last one. Go back. Hold for three breaths. Pull the tummy. Keep those arms up. Keep the weight behind. Arms up, lift up, and down. Beautiful. Okay, so wide leg squat, or we call it mala asana, mal, um, mala, um, um, a sumo, or wrestler. Good. Feet are turning out, knees are turning out, hands are here. Inhale, arms up. See, no pressure, see how far we can go. Legs are wide, sitting, good. Eyes are front, same again, keeping weight behind. Inhale up, go again. Knees are turning out, good, inhale. Six more. Keep going. You know, it's just strengthening exercises. We need a strengthening as well. Uh, and doing the movement, we freeing the body. Inhale. Last three. 
Last two. And just one more. And yes, there's a tradition. Yeah, so push those knees out. Elbows are slightly turning out. And, and then try to lower your hips down a bit. Two more breathing. Last one. And coming back, inhale. And arms are down. Good. Okay, legs are closed. And just do a little jog again. Yeah. Relax and shake that tension and tightness. Beautiful. Good. All right. So, legs are wide now. Good. Nice. Okay. So, feet are slightly turning out. Good. Arms are here. Good. A moving, moving triangle or touching toes side to side. Remember, we're pulling a tummy, keeping the core engaged. Inhale, going to the right, exhale. Inhale, Legs are straight, strong. Last four, three, two, last one. Back and down. Beautiful. Okay, so legs are still staying wide if you want to stretch a little more. Good. Now, this one I'll show you first. So, hands are here. So just the two movements, we're not coming up all the way, just staying down. We'll do, uh, we'll do 16, all right? Okay, so it's eight, eight. One, two, three, four. Engaging your core, keeping the tummy in, okay? Call it Dola Asana, just like a moving um, uh, freely. All right, legs are straight. Good, strongly, you ready? Go down. And take your hands outside. Increase the stretch. Six, five, four, three, two, and back. And jump back. Bring the legs close. Good. Lift the knees up. Beautiful. Keep going. And breathing. See, it's a, as I said, it's freeing the body. But just all the exercises. But almost done with the standing. Good. Just, uh, just three, four, three or four to go. So feet are hip-width apart. Align your legs and then slightly internally rotate. Interlock your fingers. Shoulders are back. Exhale, going down, legs straight. Inhale up. Exhale. You can go a bit further. Legs are straight. Four more. Breathe out down. Three. Two more. Last one. And back. Very good. Okay, so legs are wide like this now. Knees out. Chopping the wood. Now. We do in two different sets. Good. Now remember, it's all a breathing exercise. We're doing a squat, but we're not uh, using too much of the back, using the core. I'll show you first. Remember, not too much back, use the core. Okay, so interlock your fingers, just thinking you're holding a heavy 
big X and there's a there's a wood you're chopping okay so inhale lifting arms up okay now the focus here is um, so the first because maybe you're not uh, used to with the breathing in and out through the nose so first 10 we're going to do breathe in through the nose out through the mouth and then the last 10 next 10 we do in through your nose out through the nose okay legs are wide wider than the shoulder knees are out uh, okay so there's a there's a plank a wooden plank lock fingers pull the shoulder stay strong pull the tummy inhale lift. make a sound and rest good shake your legs shake your arms good see these all the exercises are very ancient exercises and uh, I'm, I'm sort of giving you these exercises I think uh, these exercise thousands of years old exercises and doing this we're becoming a part of a, a yoga family so you are joining all those um, all those spirits all those uh, saints behind making these exercises giving to their student so we actually uh, uh, we are uh, inherited these exercises so make sure you getting the benefit of these exercises so really good for the sinus people get allergies uh, uh, people get the uh, breathing snoring problem so all just gonna disappear now don't start too strong as breathing out if you're used to with the nose breathing then you do it okay so in through the nose out through the nose start slowly if you have a high blood pressure go soft go slow on you okay all right, so change the interlocking. Legs are still wide. Pull the tummy. Inhale, arms up. Hmm. That's good. Rest. Good. And clean your nose. Good. All right. Let's just start jogging a little bit. And this session also going to help us losing some weight. Good. Using a little bit extra calories. Good energy. I'm setting up a mat. Keep jogging. Good. Good. It moves a lot. You keep going. Don't stop. All right, now I'll show you modified touch out, okay? So if you have any knee issues, hip issues, back issues, you do this one, okay? Now, if you don't have any, no excuse. Let's do the jumping jacks. we we'll do 24. All breathing through the nose. 10, 11, 12, 13. All the way up. 10, oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Rest. Good one. Good. All right. Have a drink if you want. And then just lying down on the back. It's just a little bit. Uh, exercises on the back you got the trick now <laughs> I I give a less number as a bite and then do a little bit extra we need a little bit extra okay so don't be shy all right so lie down on your back and I just stretch your both legs straight make yourself comfortable first not a relaxation yet but we're going to do 
uh, bring the hips and the back and just just getting a heart rate and just getting a breathing back and deep breathing in deep breathing out you feel the heart rates are coming back blood pressure is coming back Okay, so now I just flex your right foot and place your left ankle up onto that, um, that sort of groove there uh, on your right foot. Good. So now from here, let's just slowly turn that leg out and you lift the left hip slightly up and back. And now turn the other way and back. Keep turning. So freeing the hips, also sort of internally, externally rotating the hips, beautiful, and four more, three, inhale, exhale and back, inhale turn, Exhale and back. So just last two. Last one. Doing very good. And back. And I just change now. Right ankle up. Good. Beautiful. All right. Let's just turn out. Exhale and back to the center. Inhale, turn in. Exhale back to the center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And keep going now. So four more. Keeping the shoulders always down, not letting shoulder come up. Last one. Okay, so they just bend your both legs. Good. Now feet and knees are shoulder width apart. Good. Arms are slightly out there. Pull the shoulder. Now keep the tummy in. Keep the back slightly imprinted. So draw your ribs from the tummy. And just inhale, turn your legs to the right, keeping your head in the center for a little while. And exhale, bringing legs back to the center, slowly turning legs to the left. Exhale and back. Inhale, turn. Exhale and back. And breathe in, turn. And breathe out. So now this time, turn the legs to the right, head to the left, so opposite. Exhale and back. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and breathe in, breathe out, keep the tummy in, keep the base lock, engage, so freeing the hips, making the body more supple, hips and back a bit more supple, more agile, freeing hand back, okay, so let just keep the legs bent, feet, knees are together. Good one. Good. Arms are slightly out there and just turn both legs wide away from each other. And exhale and bring both knees back. Think you're working on the inside thighs. Now it's just breathing in. And breathe out, bringing legs back together. Inhale, out, pin. Exhale and back. Inhale, open. Exhale and back. So squeeze those knees together. Feel working on inside thighs strongly. Inhale out. Exhale and back. Four more. 
it's a movement today so we're not holding the pose we are moving okay so last two and when your knees are coming close squeeze those knees together last one so squeeze those knees together ankles together keep it together pull the tummy and draw your ribs that sort of feel like really firming and really hollowing the stomach feet are together knees together and let's just turn the knees to the right let the left hip slightly peel off but make sure your knees are staying together exhale and back so just the pendulum exercise or in yoga we say kati chakra exhale and back nice inhale exhale and breathe in breathe out inhale keep those knees together exhale breathe in breathe out four more knees staying together exhale and back free those hips so last two not trying to make a hip click so that's not the focus and not trying to touch the floor either it's just uh, in a normal range of movement good one okay so hips are parallel feet and knees hip width apart bring the right leg up on a tabletop so both hands underneath or behind the right leg good so this is again an active hamstring stretch we're pulling the tummy keeping spine neutral and breathe out we extending the leg breathe in bending the leg exhale extend inhale bend okay exhale inhale perfect four more perfect let's just rest the leg and left leg so we're doing eight keep the foot pointed hips are parallel so first eight we're keeping the foot pointed inhale bend three two more beautiful okay rest now we're going to flex the foot so just be careful making sure you're keeping your spine neutral keeping the base lock on and keeping your tummy hole keeping your core engaged just really good stretch exhale flex the foot point the heel towards the ceiling inhale six more not forcing too much again moving there last four last one bend the leg and rest good okay switch your leg hips are parallel interlock your fingers relax the shoulder base lock on flex the foot exhale extend inhale bend go last four three last one there and rest perfect okay so let's just bring the right leg as well now legs are here so just extend your both legs so in case your hamstrings are tight so I'm keeping here because I can feel my hamstrings are feeling it here pulling the tummy and now we we opening the both legs wide and exhale and back good one so no showing off exhale and back see where your hips can be parallel and spine can be neutral inhale my ribs are staying in firm the tummy four more three you can bring the hands inside you can bring the hands outside so all right all things are right last one bend the knees good grab the legs and pull the knees towards your chest and just rock side to side just freeing the spine good feel like massaging your back now good so just four more as I said like you know it's all about 
uh, freeing the energies, just making the body more supple, more soft, good, more agile, moving like a child, moving good, freely, without any fear, without any pain, good, all right, let's just feet down, good, feet and knees are hip width apart, arms resting on a side, slightly up, relax the shoulder, relax the neck, good, okay, so let's just breathe out and slowly peel your tailbone off. And now go down slowly. Imagine you bought a new, um, new something and you don't want to peel the sticker but you want to peel the sticker. So just the, after peeling half you change your mind, so just putting it back. Okay, so let's just slowly peel your tailbone. Good. I think your spine is made of like a 33 uh, separate vertebrae and you're moving one vertebrae at a time. Good. I think every time you're adding a little bit more movement, so just breathe in. You feel like really lif lifting one vertebrae at a time. Ribs are staying in and just peel a little bit more and down slowly. Okay. So do six more, slowly freeing the spine, feeling the spine. It's not one, one uh, bone, it's uh, made of a separate vertebrae. Just really feeling, utilizing, moving all the vertebrae separately. Breathing in, breathing out. Last four. Feeling both legs are working evenly. Three. Two more. And just last one. So lift, lift up, keep it up, holding here, pull the tummy, squeeze the buttocks hard now. And let's just turn both knees out and bring both knees back. Good again. Breathe in, turn up and breathe out, bring back. So four more, keep the neck, keep the shoulder relaxed. Last four. Three. So glute activation and we also opening our uh, adductors good strengthening our uh, hip extensors our glutes uh, ITB good last one hold it tuck in good and I just do 10 pulse go one two three four five six seven eight nine and let's rest coming down slowly and relax okay so let's just take a turn on to your side now. sitting up good just move this back a bit you can see me hopefully good just sort of change the camera position all right let's just sit tall good hands are coming back try to adjust your hips take it back sole of the feet touching together let's sit tall pull the shoulder Pull the tummy and lift the base lock. Good, squeeze the buttocks. Pull the tummy. Nice. Okay, let's just do the butterflies. Keep breathing. Inhale for few, exhale for few. All movement. few more. A little faster, like a butterfly wings, full of life. Feel weightless, feel light, feel energetic, feel happy, connected. Just two more. 
deep breath, last breath. Beautiful, you are amazing. Good, okay, so legs is straight. Good, now spine rotation, but remember heels, knees, hips are staying stable. So rotating from the spine. So promise your feet and hips are not turning. Try to keep the legs aligned. So let's just turn. It's exhale, we're turning. Inhale to the center. Exhale, we're turning. So all that twisting and warming up we did, standing and lying down, this is gonna help us a bit more. Pull the tummy. Eight more. Pull the tummy, crunch those abs. Heels are not moving, hips are not moving. Six to go. Last two. Rest. Good. Okay, so legs are wide. We'll come back to this. Legs are wide. Good. Lateral. All right. So legs, not all the way, but just, just wherever you can keep comfortable. Even you can bend the knees slightly to keep your back neutral. If you're not comfortable sitting like this, you can sit on a, um, on a blanket or on a mat or on a block. Okay. So just, you can bend the legs slightly if you're not comfortable. Good. Arms are here. Lateral. Lateral spine stretch. So sort of feel like both hips are staying stable. Exhale. And synchronize with the breath. Eight. Last four, three, two, last one, and back. Good. Legs are together. Good. Um, look, you see, um, not all people are strong uh, on being doing regular exercises I'm doing. So if you're starting feeling too much, uh, all, I do, all I say, sorry, to reduce the number a little bit, okay? So, and I'm started talking to a little bit now because I'm giving you a little more time to recovery. Okay, so this is called a Bhu Naman Asana. So Bhu Naman means we, we bound down to the side. Um, same principle here, I'll say to keep your feet, keep your knees, keep your hip aligned. Who cares, we're not going touching the nose down, okay? It's the name of the exercise, you're not trying to do it. Pull the tummy, knees together, feet together. So it's exhale, we're turning and going down, keeping the left hip down. Inhale back, exhale, turn and down. Keep the right hip down. So regularity, continuity is the key. flexible than me very good less it's okay we all learning we all working keeping this body going four more three two more so in case if I'm making any mistake make sure you're not making any mistake okay so you're smart smarter than me and that's what, um, that's what the tradition is. Um, the student, all teachers work is to make um, his student better than him. So um, if you are doing yoga with me, if you're learning, if you're doing these sessions, all my focus is to, to make you better and not you're not repeating those mistakes I made 
uh, earlier in my life so I am uh, I'm giving you that what I learned in in in, in the last uh, almost 35 40 years so I'm 42 uh, I'm not saying I started doing from the day one um, I, I think I was a four or five when my grandfather started teaching me these yoga uh, exercises so um, to me it's just uh, the day I remember myself, I remember um, doing um, doing the salutations, doing the breathing exercises, uh, uh, doing the jumping jacks, doing the squats, uh, all these yoga exercises. Okay, so all right. Um, now moving Paschimottasana. So what moving Paschimottasana is is touching the toes, but we're going all the way down. So we're going to do. Um, ten legs are staying together, legs are staying aligned, keeping the tummy in, going down slowly. Exhale up. So, not forcing, start touching the toes for the start. And if you can go a little further next time, go a little further. So five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And my knee, my pants need <laughs> adjustment. That's good. Okay. Like a rocking like a ball. It's very good. One of my favorites. Uh, massaging the back. Okay. So releasing the tightness from the back. So hands are here for a start. Okay. Curl the back. I really feel like your back is like a half ball. Pull the tummy and rock back and rock forward all the way to the neck and curl up. Go inhale. Use your core to lift. Five more. Four, three, Woo! good one, last one, good. Now we keeping the hands here, so trying to hold the legs close, wrapping the arms like this, good, so then um, hard to cheat. Now pull the tummy, keeping head close to your knees. Pull the tummy. Keep going. Like a little baby. Flying. Rest. Ah, feels so good. <sighs> yeah, almost done. <laughs> good. All right. I am always going to say almost done. Now, um, just for you on a tummy. Again, feeling like a little baby on your tummy. Good. <clears throat> and the uh, hands are under the forehead. Legs, uh, uh, feet are hip width apart. Good. Now, head down. Are we bending one leg? Hand down. Other leg? Hand down. So slowly bring a knee joint. It's exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale when your heel coming close. Let's do fast. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, three, two, and rest. Wonderful. So legs are hip width apart, and then bring your hands under your hips. Press your pubic bone down to sort of feel like you're really pushing your hands strongly down, and you're looking forward. 
align the hips and squeeze your buttocks lengthen those legs keeping the legs aligned good um adha shalabhasana half locus yeah okay so let's just lift the left leg straight up and exhale down lift the right leg up exhale down so we're going to do this with the moving inhale up exhale down breathe in up breathe out down six more and down five keep both hip aligned and keep pushing your pubic bone down keep squeezing your buttocks and down inhale up not letting heel fall in but keep the leg straight keep the leg aligned and down it's not turning to lift last three one more and down okay arms are resting legs are together good now let's do reverse sport so um your palms are facing towards you and just inhale let's just lift the legs up and lift the head up chest up and arms up exhale down we do four more and down three two more so last one hold and rest legs are wide hands are forward so just give a little rest good um i only do things uh with you for you is the right for you not what looks good good give a little rest is the next one is the a little challenge so legs are wide now and I bend the legs and see so if you can grab your ankles very good yeah once i thought i'm not going to be able to find my ankles good okay pull the tummy and let's just do the bow okay so go up hold and down slowly so we'll do four more times okay hold it strong and pull your arms with your feet and lift your head up chest up and down slowly three more and down so this last two and down one more look up pull strongly and down let's rest the legs okay up on the four knees are wide feet are close sit back first and give a little rest almost finished just the counter balancing the back coming on all four now let's just do last cat cat and cow good hands under pull the shoulder in her look up mix up curl your back free your spine again in her look up x up curl six more and curl five more Beautiful. 
Breathe this one. Last two. Let's sit back on your heels on a child. Child pose. Make yourself, make yourself comfortable. Let's, uh, let's just lie down on your back for just a rela little relaxation time. You can, as a tradition, you can sit and sit on a meditation position, comfortable sitting position. You can lie down on your back, whatever suits you. Eyes are closed. Make yourself calm, make yourself comfortable, make yourself relax. You think you're not holding anything tight, you just let go completely today. Feel like becoming one with the universe energy. Comfortable. Let go. Surrender. no effort when no effort to relax your body your body knows how to relax you just let go completely surrender and no more fear and no more holding your little ego let go completely, surrender. Complete rest, complete recovery. Just feel like you, you're floating. So you're not a meta, you're not a fire. 
you know the water, you know the air, you know the space either, it's just complete conscious awareness, a complete happiness, complete joy, complete peace, comfort. You're always looking outside, it's not outside, it's inside. So self-acceptance, self-love, self-care, and self-approval as well. Self-love, self-approval. I love myself. I am comfortable with myself. There's nothing There's nothing outside can satisfy me. I am satisfied on my own, with myself. So there's nothing can fill me. I am complete. Internally content, satisfied, happy. Bliss. I'm internally joyful. I'm internally aligned. Feeling internally aligned and happy, joyful. Come back to the body and think that's your essence, that's your fruit, that's your nature. And when you come outside the world, your, your fruit is so happy in your branches. Your essence is so so dominant it's it's just oozing out from your body even you don't want to give it's just people like experiencing your love your happiness your inner joy your peace your contentment your calmness your soothness let's take a turn on to your right side you're feeling it's happening sit cross leg now eyes are closed gentle smile on your face It is the greatest gift and think you have that you're inside. This is your gift, this is your fruit, this is your, your speciality. And you're spreading all over the world and giving to the whole world. Not asking, not wanting, but giving, giving more. You see, the, the tree full of fruit, happy to get rid of fruit because it, it produces the weight. So, and the same thing, you are full of happiness, you're full of, full of contentment, full of peace, full of joy, full of love, full of, um, full of life. So whenever you touch someone, it, it gives the life to the other person, give a smile to the other person. You're changing the direction, changing the life of the other people. Touching, talking, smiling, walking past. And this is your gift. Have it and use it every day. And just rub your hands. And place your hands onto your eyes. You can you can try with me and just smile as you're opening your eyes and see if I can smile and laugh. <laughs> Thank you.
you very much. Keep smiling, keep laughing always. I love you and just look after yourself. Stay strong, stay well. See you next time. Thank you. I really appreciate your hard work. I really, really appreciate you keep coming and keep doing and looking after yourself. Thank you. See you next time. Namaste.